Um, it's me again and very untidy at the back so yeah we'll have to sort that out. Other than that thank you so much if you've liked, commented or subscribed I really appreciate it and um, I'd love some feedback as to what you want to see on the channel. It would be good to hear back from you just to know if I'm getting it right or whether there's anything else I could add to make it better for your viewing. Um, the filming techniques um, haven't really changed and that's something maybe that I need to look into to get a bit better but yeah I hopefully you're enjoying it so anyway to tell for now and enjoy the film. I did see I'd show you the electrics at the back as you can see we've labelled them all um, one of the cables has been changed but it needs to be lengthened and yeah a lot to do. Right, let's see if we can tackle one of these uh, lead windows. I've got to get the glass out first, so that could be tricky. Mm, it's proven very tricky. The lead's very soft. Let's lift it out. There you go. One piece out. I can see the thickness of it now, which is what, sorry, which is what I wanted to do. Right, I've given it just a very quick clean, but you, you should be able to see, I don't know whether you can on camera, how, see how it's got like a double vision? Well, that's because the glass is really wavy and old. It's, uh, it'll be from the turn, it was in a picture that was, I keep saying Victorian, but that's what it was. Turn of the century, late Victorian. Right, let's see if we can cut this to size. Right, I'm actually going to use the glass as a measurement because that's going to be far more accurate than I could ever measure as I really am rubbish at measuring. But anyway, <clears throat> that's how I'm going to do it. So I'm just using the glass that was broken, lining it up. I might as well use the straight edges of the glass as I've got them. Just wish I had a pen. I can just nip it there. This isn't the way you should do it, guys. <laughs> get yourself a felt. <laughs> Basically, get yourself a felt tip sharpie or a pen. Little market. I'm just using the grid on my mat here to to use as a guide. Like I say, I can't find a pen. So I'm just going to go ahead and try. If not, I'll be aware I'll have to go and find one. Right, here we go. Nippers, it would make a better job of this, but I want to show you that you don't need them. You can. You can do it without. Just a bit of pressure there and hopefully a bit of pressure. You've just got to not be scared of it. Go on. So one thing you should know is that older glass is much harder to work with because it kind of toughens over the years. I don't know how or why, but that's what I've been led to believe. I've marked this one. It's not with a Sharpie, so I know it's not going to stay there and will smudge. Right, let's go across. Right, this time I've gone and got my tool for this, which is, ooh, sorry, one of those. See how that works. nicely right I've brought you back to see if I can show you I'm just the lead is very delicate and it is splitting in places but I'm just popping my screwdriver in and putting my hand behind it just to open it and hopefully it will take this glass I'll bring you back in a minute right as you can see I've bent it a bit out of shape but at least I can get Mm, maybe I can't. I was going to say, at least I can get the piece of glass in. Well, I could if it was the right way. 
And the only way I can think of is completely flatten this bit and it could just split it. Right, I have one side in. That's a floorboard you can see there, not the glass, but you can see I have one side nearly in anyway. So um, as much as I didn't want to bend, bend the lead, that's what's happening. <laughs> Uh, oops. It's not wood, it's... Uh, I don't think it is. I think it's some sort of... I don't know, is that wood? I think it's like a filler, but uh, it's been put in like putty. can't believe I wasn't filming that, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Sorry, you missed out, but you'll get to see the top piece. Right, this is a total rethink. This uh, video could end up a few days off yet, so it might be late. Um, whatever I've just done, I will show you parts of it, but it hasn't worked. I wasn't happy with it, so yeah, I'm going to have to rethink this. Right, I'm going for this drastically. The what the the lead is just so mangled, I, ca I can't even really show you, to be honest. It's just never going to be the same again. So I'm going to have to take the whole window out, I think. Sorry about the movement there. I'm probably going to regret doing this, but I'm doing it. Right, just to give you a catch up, I'm now here taking the whole window out. So I don't like destroying the old fabric of the house. It isn't what I wanted to do, believe you me. But that's what I'm having to do. And this piece there. From a half nice window to nothing. Well, at the beginning of this video, I did say I didn't know what I was going to be doing and what you'd be watching. Well, I sure as hell didn't think you'd be watching me destroy the windows that I love. But um, <laughs> that's the way it's worked out. Let's just hope I can put them back better. Gosh, I hope so. Right, I'm back. Um, It's another day. This is turning out to be nightmare <laughs> i literally as you can see i've got so many pieces of glass those two although they look a bit wonky they do actually fit but because of the way i'm going to do it i just need a little bit more off i'm getting a bit sick of wasting glass um i really hate doing that and this glass is quite thick I don't know if you can see, it is much thicker than the original, which is that thick. Right, I've just had a look from the, looking at the windows from the inside, and it's actually the clear bits I need to take some more off, so uh, that's what I'll do. If this doesn't work out, then um, I'm going to have to cut them again, and this video... You could end up seeing it next year, I think. <laughs> right. Sorry about the noise, by the way. And you can see from the dust and fluff on these, I haven't used them for a while. That's probably not going to work either. It's just going to nibble it into it. Oh, oh, a little bit. Let's get all the hairs off. Of course, one thing uh, you don't all know is we're renovating our own home as well. 
we're just waiting for planning permissions of which they've uh, not been very helpful with coming through and also money and time and everything else i don't know about in the uh, america or anywhere else but here in the uk you have like listings and we're a listed building not because it's anything fantastic because it's really not but uh yeah, it's caused a lot of problems for us. Way, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Wish I thought about using this sooner. Right, I've sanded those off as much as I need to. So um, now I'm going to try a foiling technique. And you know what? I can't even remember how you do this. It's been so long. Uh, last time I did any real glass work would probably be four years ago. So anyway, we'll give it a go. Well, quite possibly. I really should probably YouTube this, but <laughs> I have not the time. It, I just literally have not the time. So I remember you wrap it on. And I can't remember whether you can go around the corners or not. So, um... I'm just going to try it and see what happens. I do remember this being quite tricky. I don't really know why I stopped doing uh, glasswork because I actually did really enjoy it. I think I just got carried away with a, a different craft, as I do. Well, one thing that has been consistent throughout is my love for doing the dolls' houses, so... Right, okay. Well, it's looked like we're going for the wrap around, doesn't it? I'm just putting the side of the glass straight on the tape because if I, like I say, I remember correctly and I, I do remember this being the easiest way of doing it. But like I said, it has been a long time. Um. I don't know if that's still sticky. Let's have a look. Are you still sticky? I might have to cut that one off there. the front windows to be honest with you I was going to uh, when I come to do the big front windows I'm not overly struck on the the sort of size and shape of them and design so I was going to lead them all and that's what I was going to do is put the lead on and then lead over so um, yeah I suppose this can be a test run now it wasn't meant to be but <laughs> that's the way it goes right I've done two um, I don't remember having to smooth it off like this, but I just thought, oh well, you melt this and put this on and that will hold it all together. But all I'm thinking is this might not be wide enough. I might have to put a whole strip on to make it look more like the original leaded window. Um, I'll get this on anyway and we'll have a look at it and go from there. Right now for the red one, don't start on the corner, I think is something else that uh, I remembered after it was too late. There. It's probably best to have it straight on so you can see that you're keeping it in the middle. Right, I just thought I'd show you the, um, that's what I'm using. This is the new packet I haven't um, unwrapped yet, but it's it was that sort of stuff. Made in the US of A. There you go. Just in case any of you have a similar project you want to do. <laughs> Basically, don't make my mistake. <laughs> don't be so rough and gun ho. Right, I think that truly shows what a wonky donkey effort that is. 
um, but it should be okay. It'll still all go together. Um, I'm going to try it in the window frame and if I can get my iPad back over there to show you, I will. Right, I think what I'm going to do is put the tape over the joints like that. Now, I know from doing this, like I said, many years ago, that I actually don't need to do that. It would, once I melt the lead, it would actually cover that gap and go on there. But I want it a little bit wider. So I'm just thinking if I do that. Right, it's off. There, that's a lot um, steadier now. And I know that the clear isn't quite even with the, the red, but that's the way it is in the house. So see where we're going from here. Well, that's just blooming lovely. It's wash day at Follybeck Farm. So let's see what Tobias gets up to. Oh, there, there. Oh, Beth. I, I'm going to go and feed the baby. Take care of this. I'll do the washing. Get off them bloomers, snout. Get your head out of them bloomers. Oh, I've gone stood on them now. Let's wash them again. Come on. In the barrel. Get it washed. Got a clean foot. May as well use it. Let's wring them out. There they go. Get them off. Oh, I've trapped them again. I give up. i let Beth finish this off. Bye from Tobias. Right. right, it's not wanting to stick on there for some reason. I can't remember if I should have used flux. Do I use flux or does it just go straight on? Right, I'll just show you this is what I'm going to use. You just brush it on, I think. <laughs> like I say, I can't remember. I think that's why it's not sticking. I think it's like... I don't know. For most things you need flux, don't you, metalwork? So maybe that's why. Right, let's try that now. And I'm also keeping the hot part of the soldering iron uh, up so it's not facing down on the glass. Oh, well, that seems to be flowing better, doesn't it? There you go, it just needed a bit of flux. Well, what a plonker. Like you say, it's you just forget these things, don't you? And get back to you. Right, well, there you have it. I haven't done the very edges, obviously, um, if this was a piece that was going to hang in your window or everything, you would finish all the edges off. But I don't think I'm going to add that bulk just in case it then doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm not risking it. So, yeah, it's like I say, I'm no professional. But um, it's not through bad, really, is it? And I think I need to use my new tape as well. The tape has come off a little bit in places. Um, that's probably because of the age of it. Like I say, it hasn't it hasn't been used. It shouldn't really have gone off, but uh, yeah, you can see it's lifted there. Look, it's slightly annoying. I'll have to see what I can do about that. I don't know. I've got to say that flux is very greasy on your fingers. Right, let's see if we can get this in place. I'm hoping it's going to go in. This video is never, ever going to get out to you. I've got to say, is that me? No, it isn't. I was going to say, my paint's still a little bit tacky, you know. Whoop. Right, hang on. Now, we know I had it in once. It's just got to go back in. Come on. Please. And 
know it'll go. Come on. Yes. Whew. For a minute there, I thought, oh no, but it's in. It's now, um, yeah, I can touch the paint up afterwards. But saying that, looking at the paint above it, it's, uh, <laughs> it's no worse. <clears throat> and what I'll do is just that will lift up a little bit like that. I shall just put some tiny little wedges under there. And then we'll get on with uh, getting it fixed in place. Yeah. Not three bad. Well, on about looking. Look at that. Hang on. Where's the camera? I'm never going to figure out where the camera is. There you go. Now, I remember coming across this in the cupboard and thinking, oh, we don't use putty anymore. We found it not really good. And I thought I'd throw it out. So I went down there thinking, I know I've thrown it out. Well, here you haven't. <laughs> I haven't got a clue what I'm doing here. Oh, sort of thing my husband normally does. Can't be that hard, can it? Right, that's it. Hopefully you can see. Not too bad. I will um, touch the paint up. As you can see, that one's, um, yeah, a lot more bash than that one. But that one's still got to be done, because if you look closely, we have no windows. So, yeah, there's one for another time. Hi all. Well, I thought I'd do an outro. Um, just because this was such a difficult video to do, everything went absolutely wrong for me. Um... It was just a nightmare, but I could have avoided it all by not being so gun ho And at the end of the day, I do, I am on a time limit to get these videos out to you. But to be honest, that's the kind of person I am. And I often think I can do something in my head. And sometimes in reality, I can't. But anyway, I think I did the best with what I got and it all turned out okay in the end. Um, but obviously I would have loved to have kept the original glass and to have kept the original lead, but it wasn't to be, so we went with plan B. The poet didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> and that's just the way things are sometimes. So I always said warts and all, and it's my way, not necessarily the right way. So there you go. So ta-ta for now. <laughs>